Thank you all for coming this morning. Uh, today is the 14th annual Undergraduate Research Symposium. It's, the, it's also the largest in history. One of the great things about Florida State is that we're such a major comprehensive research university. We have research and creative activity happening in, across all campus and in every department. And so we have students to reflect that. We have students in chemistry and physics and mathematics, as, as one might expect with research. But we also have students in social science and political science and sociology uh, and artists and creative writers, stu studio artists, theater, everything. Strength and other factors, but we never really well, the research I'm conducting is the quality of life in regards to swallowing on those who have had a laryngectomy. And the reason we're doing this is because a lot of people who had a laryngectomy complain about difficulty on swallowing. And we've measured factors such as tongue strength and others before, but we've never really looked at the quality of life. And we really want to make sure that we're helping these people as much as we can. Research opportunities are open to every student across campus. You don't have to be in honors or any special program to do research. And faculty across campus are interested in working with students at every level from fr freshman to senior. Potentially say people from late onset of paralysis or from serious cognitive deficit. And what we're really focusing on is traumatic brain injury and what we can do the way we think that we can potentially save millions of people from degrading even farther following their traumatic brain injury due to the result of a spread of cell death that happens after the initial impact to the brain. Whether they show more displays like the large male or more stress. So students today get the chance to disseminate and share and present their research that they're doing across campus. And this is an important educational process for them to learn how to make sense of their research and, and share it with others in a way that other people can understand, especially non-specialists. Whenever I talk about how we give um, the, the induced brain injury to the rat models, I compare it to maybe, for instance, getting in a car wreck. So what you have to do is you have to use words like, instead of proliferation, making new cells. So most people can understand that, but if you relate to them rather than expect that they know what you're saying, then you get a lot more response, because otherwise their eyes will just glaze over and have no idea what you're saying. I've never really imagined myself being able to do something like this, and I'm really proud of myself, and I know my parents are proud of me too for all this work that I've done, because it's never really been something I ever thought I could do, but I'm standing here and I'm really glad I found this chance.